Alright guys, what is going on? Fly here, welcome back to the channel. In today's video by popular demand, we take out the Iowa guys. Thank you so much for voting. It makes it makes things a lot easier on me uh, to pick what to play during the day or you know what video I'm gonna do. Hang on, Tango here, boys. We have a uh, an Agami class. Oh, we, we have HE loaded out though. Okay, so we'll just get these off on him. Loading the AP now. Oh my gosh. It, it's it's the spread on the um, the American guns are pretty decent, uh, but there's a lot of vertical. Um, the the horizontal is not that bad, but the vertical uh, di uh, dis dispersion isn't really that. Okay, hang on, I got people shooting at me right now. Okay, here we go. We're gonna try to get some citadels on this Amagi. See the vertical on this of it? It's insane. Citadel. Bullseye. Okay, just giving it to these guys right now. Look how fast I'm going. 30.7. It's almost 38, almost our top speed. Um, after this gameplay, I will showcase you guys what I have upgraded on this ship. And I do apologize for taking out um hang on a second. We have someone shooting us from... I'm going to turn away. There might be a destroyer. We're, we're going to get one more shot on this Amagi and then turn around real quick. Two, four seconds on the reload. That Amagi is going down pretty damn soon. Turn it all the way around, boys. I just want to see these shells go in. Should be a citadel up in here. There she goes. Target penetrated. Only, only one citadel did all that damage. I think we won't be able to turn around here. And before the destroyer is over here and like just rips my ass to pieces. Yeah, it's only one fire burning. We're gonna let our damage control teams take care of that right now. And it looks like we're gonna make this turn. The Iowa is just a beautiful, maneuverable ship. Um, I don't have any rotor ship upgrades, but I do have top acceleration, which does help for um, accelerating or like decreasing speed and then reaccelerating. Kind of like that maneuver you do, kind of like, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of when you. It reminds me of a song. I don't know. Um, but let's say you're sh you're engaging an enemy battleship and you stop the ship really fast. He misses the shells. Then you wait like 15 seconds and you speed her all the way up so he misses the shells because he thinks you're stopped. You know. It's a strategy, guys, and it works in this game, I'll tell you that. Okay, New Mexico, let's go ahead and range them. 18.4, on the way. First, let's look a little bit too in front of him. But the, the second salvo with the front two guns are going to be perfect, I think. Um... Now this is a hard angle for me to engage a battleship at. Very difficult to uh, properly penetrate his broadside at this angle, but we're gonna keep trying at it. We have a huge iceberg in front of us. We got them all off, except for one. These look pretty darn good. There is a 11,000 damage with five hits on target. As you can see, the matchmaker really isn't that fair right now. But hey, you guys want me to play these ships? Some of the players don't have them yet. But uh, it's worth just showing you guys these ships to see how cool and how good they are. This should be the finishing blow right here. 22.5. Kilometers out. Holy crap. Five thousand with superstructure hits. Not the best shooting at this hole, but we are far away from him right now, guys. And a little bit lower this time. Fast reload, I have a modification that knocks off five seconds off my reload time, which is so much better than the 30 seconds. I don't know why, but it is. It just makes it so much more fun. And there he goes. We would have got some hits on him right there too. Well, that's about one. 
Okay, so all we have left is someone way over yonder. We're gonna launch our scout plane. And look at that range, guys. If we're in the center of the map, I guarantee you we can shoot from side to side, no problem. Okay, looks like we have a Fuso. We're gonna aim right here. That, should be... that might actually be off target. It's actually 25 kilometers away. <laughs> all right, we have a Hatsuhuru. Hatsuhuru! Eh, it might look good, I don't know. One might hit. Ooh, we just, we just spliced him a little bit. Now this angle, I'm gonna to switch to high explosive after, after these shells. All you can but it's still not enough <laughs> all right we're at four seconds for the reload back to AP here comes the high explosive salvo Now this whole scout plane view is good and all, but it definitely changes your like, you know, uh, how you aim from the other view to this view. There we go, boys. We got one. All right, so it looks like the destroyers are really giving it to us right now. Um, they have two left. We have four ships left, but those destroyers can easily sneak in under the radar if 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 the if the scout or the other, or, or our player ships can't spot them. All right, let's get some good shots in the sky. That dis that dispersion is just kicks your ass sometimes, boys. Okay, there goes oh, a fuck ton of health. He's turning more broadside for us. This, this next album should probably kill him. Isn't, isn't that reload rate just amazing? He's turning into them, so these really shouldn't do too much damage. Oh, good play, Fuso. Okay, we're gonna take a more defensive approach here. We have a destroyer in the middle of sea right now, and I don't want to get too close to him. Full broadside. Seven thousand down. He's burning as well. I love the Iowa guys. Oh my gosh. The enemy team has taken the lead. So yeah, no wonder you're, you love the Iowa. You're fighting against the Fuso. <laughs> and honestly, the Fuso hasn't put any rounds on me yet this game. It feels like this should rip some reperonis right now. Yeah, these are kill shots. Nope, eight thousand. We're aiming a little bit too high, so we're hitting his, uh, his, uh, not deck, his side armor, uh, but not low enough for a citadel. Now he's turning into us. Okay, so the Fuso just went down. We have a Sims right here. Now, I have one shot at a destroyer from across the map one time in my Fuso video. If you look up, like, Fly Daily Fuso, it should come up, and the intro to that video is me, like, shooting over a mountain and lagging and hitting him for full, like, three citadels. It was insane. 
Okay, so we need to start capping again, or this game might go on a lot longer than it should. We are on good heading for C. Maybe a little, maybe a little more port rudder. There we go. So we have two minutes until our plane is ready to relaunch, or is that when it comes back? No, it's here. Hey, little OS to you, whatever you are. Looks like OS to you. Enemy team is capturing D. <sighs> Those destroyers, man. Wait, he's at D already? Holy crap, that Sims moves fast. We're gonna do some blind shots here, eh? I'm gonna say he's gonna be right here. Nope, he's way over here. <laughs> yeah, he's um, he is off engine behind this iceberg. Uh, but he's being engaged by a Cleveland, which, yeah, he won't last too much longer. What if my rounds can go through this iceberg? I'm just kidding. Good game, guys. Little imbalance, but uh, you got the taste for the Iowa. We got three Citadels, probably around 80,000 damage. Or 100 and fucking 3,000 damage. GG. All right, but let's go ahead and take a look at this ship today before we get into the next battle. As I said before, this is the Iowa Tier 9 United States Battleship. We're rolling with three turrets by nine guns, three by nine, or three by three. Yeah, three, yeah, three by three. They see, not nine, that would make like like 18 guns, right? T uh, but we have nine guns on three turrets, which is a beautiful combination. Um, and that gameplay, the Americans have some really good um, horizontal um, accuracy, but the uh, vertical accuracy varies a lot within these guns. and. I guess you gotta make the game semi RNG to make it fun for everybody, but um, it's crazy at how inaccurate these 16 inch guns are. But uh, yeah, as I said before, 16 inch guns, 406 millimeter to be exact, 15.98 inches. Um, if you guys have free time, go on the YouTubes and type in uh, 16 inch gun demonstration or documentary, and it'll be this eight, this eight minute like synopsis of how these guns work, and it's fucking phenomenal. I love it so much. But the Iowa is hell of a ship. World War II all the way up to 1990s, um, firing at Iraqi targets. It's a, it's a crazy at how long these battleships had service lives. Now, granted, these things were refitted with missiles and such, but it's just crazy these guns fired for so long. I think it was the Missouri. Um, the, an, an Iowa class, the Missouri, was the one that was in uh, 1990 that was firing at Iraqi targets. But uh, just a revolutionary battleship that stood the test of time. Uh, so advanced for her time as well. And I believe there's one at Pearl Harbor by the Arizona Memorial or the Pearl Harbor Memorial. If you guys have free time, go on Google Maps, type in Pearl Harbor Memorial, and you, you will be able to see it. And you will be able to see the Arizona uh, from space into the sea. It's pretty crazy. Uh, but also, the guns are great on the Iowa, um, but two other things are really amazing about this ship. Uh, you have some amazing speed. We're rolling at um, 30.8 knots, which is super fast for a battleship. Uh, modules today or upgrades, we have main battery, um, gun traverse, and thank you guys so much for the notice that I was upgrading my secondaries and not my primaries. So this will help my reload time, damage control, top speed, or not top speed, but helps my acceleration. And we have target acquisition systems. Um, also, anti-aircraft guns are on point. Look at look, look at this. I don't know if you guys can see it, uh, but we have 12 20 mils, um, 20 dual 20 mils, 14 dual bow fours, and quad bow fours, and 10. Uh, hang on, here here the bow fours. God, Lanta, imagine being in that assembly right there. It's scary. Then we have these dual purpose turrets. Crazy. I've been in one of these before and they are just so cool looking. But alright guys, let's get into another one and see how we can do. Alright guys, so welcome to second gameplay. Much more semi-balanced game. Uh, what, what we have is a battleship advantage, but they have a ranger class, which can easily turn the tide of the battle. Um, I've instructed or asked the help from my team to provide anti-aircraft screening for me. Um, even though the Iowa has really good anti-aircraft um, guns, as we saw um, in that little uh, synopsis before this battle, um, they, the anti-aircraft really doesn't do much for planes coming in. Once the planes drop their bombs, then you kill them pretty easily. Uh, but it, 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 it's crucial to have some ships in front of me that can cause havoc to the incoming torpedo bombers and dive bombers. 
Okay, so we're just gonna load AP right now. Need my team to follow me this way. Running at half power right now. Don't want to get out too far because, um, you know, we need those ships I said before. Forty mils go to work, eh? Incoming torpedo bombers. This is good. This is good. This is really hard for, the, for this carry to infiltrate us. Come on, there we go. No torpedoes in the water. Good job, boys. Fuck yeah, this is great. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'll keep my composure. All right, so we have an Aoba and an Atago over here. Don't want to one on one them because they will set me on fire to oblivion. Shells. Looks like they're right on target. There goes the Citadel. Good shit, Amagi. Hey, don't worry, guys. We got one hit on them. No damage. We're going to go ahead and repair this ship. Pull out a little bit. We're going to take a, a much harder um, approach to allow... Thank you for no fires. Okay, we got we to get some nice shots on this Amagi here. We're going to fucking rip soon. Oh my fucking god, the RNG is real with that Amagi. We gotta pull way out now, boys. Hating on them thugs just fucking wrecked me. Full retreat, boys. Full retreat. Okay. We had to recover from this. Hating them thugs already have five citadels on me. There's there's four thousand. My Gutsen. Oh, the splicing. If he gets another one, I'll be fucking so surprised. Okay, good. There, there's some nice bounces right there. Oh, I'm so short of the Citadel. Hey, come on, can we can we zoom in on target? Thank you. Incoming torpedoes. Ah, oh, I need my shells. There we go. Keep turning. Keep turning. Kind of stuck right here for a little bit. All stations, requesting fire on the designated target. Repairing the ship. Yeah, that was no repair at all. Trying to pull her way out of battle right now. This is getting intense. He's gonna start maneuvering right now. We're gonna wait until he's done, until he wants to open up again for another shell or another salvo. 
Torpedoes astern. Here comes us opening up. There were some nice hits on him. Come on, Iowa, get out of here. Okay, they're out. The Agami is a tier 8, so he does have the power to fuck me up pretty quickly. Attention, reporting the target position. shot Sorry Fuso, I apologize. Team's doing good right now. I know we're losing some players, but we can. If we get this darn um, uh, Agami out or um, Amagi out of here, detonation. <laughs> turn, 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 turn. There we go. Good, good. Incoming torpedo bombers. Watching the scout. Scout launched. My repairs are doing nothing anymore. They might they look like they're repairing probably about three or four thousand health. And you get the hell out of dodge again. Yeah, the enemy team has just fucking Oh, compressed us entirely into this cap. Force. Hit him down. 
Oh yeah, here we go, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this is how the Iowa dies. That was a good game though. I, I I had fun in the beginning. A little stressful in the middle. The fucking Agami with like five citadels. Oh. Oh fuck. <laughs> it's the worst feeling when you get in a game and you start and you see uh, let's say uh, 50,000 of your health to de depreciate in a matter of milliseconds, but uh That is the Iowa guys. It's a really good ship um, But the enemy team played really really well my shots really weren't on target as much I was trying to dodge a maneuver to keep myself alive as much as possible and uh, also RNG is just a thing of the things guys you always it sucks sometimes, but it does help you out in other times, like that Agami. Now, did that Agami shoot really well? Yeah, he did. He had a fucking big target. And uh, he, the Agami was maneuvering really well that match. and was making it really hard um, for me to get on a nice broadside for his Citadels. Maybe that's something that I will adapt to and uh, maybe upgrade my ship instead of uh, engine acceleration. Maybe we'll have rudder shift to allow us to do that. And he was doing really... Like, he was uh, guesstimating, not guesstimating, but he was watching my shots. He would turn at an angle to hide his broadside, and then once I fired and didn't do that much damage, then he would open up, and then he would go back in. And that's the way you really need to play Battleship, and overall, just a really fun match, guys. Looks like we're going to lose this. All right, so it's kind of into the game right now, and surpri surprisingly enough, the enemy team didn't want to cap, and they wanted to kill all the enemy players. And it looks like if there's not a Citadel soon, um, it's going to be a draw. And Brown Pound says, too late to cap, but capping is lame anyways. Cheerio, mate, I do agree, but sometimes capping gives you the more XP, which gets you through those hard level ships. All right, let's check out what we did in this game. I'm guessing not more than like 50K. It was a tough fight. And I did a lot of damage to my allies by ramming them. Yeah, 40,000 damage. Tough break, guys. But hey, I hope you guys have enjoyed this gameplay. Uh, in the comments below, I'll put a, a thread out for you guys to vote on what ship I take out next, guys. Have a great day. Peace out.